At the beginning of a pandemic, I felt... Anxious? A bit worried, because I really didn't know what to expect. It was a bit new for everybody. None of us knew what was going to happen. I felt like... Yes, because like... Yes and no, you know, that feeling. At first I was rather excited. I thought it would be nice to like, have a change. No, because... No, school, I don't get to play with my friends. But then when I kind of saw what it meant, like you couldn't go out and see people, uh, it wasn't so great. The yes point is that I get to spend more time with my family. And that's nice. It kind of set in and the more you watched the news or the more uh, people were talking about it, the more you understood that there is going to be a change. So we were at home on our computers on our own. I was in year three when that happened and I was very young and didn't know how to use all this technology all the time. It was easier um, for my age group because um, we had experienced technology much more. The coronavirus had come back, which to me was also frustrating. Yeah, I was quite annoyed because of the second lockdown. We went back onto online learning, but it was much easier because we'd already experienced it before. A bit disappointed because um, the world didn't wasn't as flexible as I thought. It's like I'm trapped in a dungeon, and all my friends are like on the top floor, so I can't talk to them. When we came back into the classroom, it was very different, I guess, because we'd been online for quite a while. It felt a bit new because we've been so used to online learning, but at the same time, it's really relieving as you're not looking at a screen all day. But we had like kind of natural happiness between us because we knew we were like together again. And seeing them for the first time in a, like a long time, that rush of excitement just goes through your veins and it just feels amazing. It's like putting on a pair of old shoes again. It's like, it's new, but at the same time, it feels right. The fact the teachers are with us at school and we're with our friends, it feels like we're all in it together, rather than when you're sitting behind a laptop screen, you kind of feel a bit alone because of the fact that you feel it's just you. Getting back and seeing people organically, it's really good for your mental health. The pandemic um, had a lot of disadvantages and that was very sad, but also had lots of pros. We um, care for each other more and also you see online a different side of other people. I've started to feel much closer to my sisters. Um, I can start playing with them without annoying them. So um, that, that's nice. I think we've all learned independence. Um, and having to do things the hard way. I'm con sort of contradicting myself, but I think I get more focused um, because of COVID, because um, I was trying so hard not to get distracted that I actually focused more, and when I came back to school, um, it was easier to focus. What I've learned, and I think everybody else has learned, to be more resilient, as well as just keep going step by step, don't look at a very big goal and you think, oh no, I can't do it. Do it one step at a time, so like climbing a staircase. I think I've changed a lot since then because I've been a lot more caring than usual. So I've changed like twice as better than I was before. In lockdown, you couldn't like, there wasn't many opportunities to let your like feelings out, but this interview was one of the opportunities to let your feelings out. It's been nice to express my feelings. It, I think it gives us a voice uh, and it gives us a chance to explain from our point of view what we felt. And I also like uh, talking to other people about what I feel. I, I feel much better and I will feel much better after this interview because I've told other people how I feel. I normally, whenever I'm on camera or in a school play I sometimes get a bit overexcited and start giggling so I'm happy that I didn't do that today.